Success. Everyone chases it frantically, but do they know what it is they're chasing? Sure, your parents told you what it is, money, degrees, reputation, living in the suburbs, but could it be that these things have absolutely nothing to do with true success? Is there such a thing as the success conspiracy? Well, in this video, I'm going to define success the right way, once and for all. Pretty bold claim, but just hear me out, here goes. Success is being true to your unique inner self. The more in touch with your inner self you are, the more successful you are, period. That's it. Now let me explain. This is Jacob. When he was young, he functioned right from his inner self. So consumed in his painting that he had no interest in comparing himself with others. He knew only this fascination with his craft, his deepest curiosity, and he felt this as a warm glow inside of him. He was in his element, his bliss, being what nature intended him to be. Now, it would have been great if he could just carry on, but unfortunately, he was given false notions of success. It was the success conspiracy. By the ways of the world, Jacob was put on the conveyor belt of society. Preschool, school, college, university, and inevitably, a job that pays the bills. Slowly, Jacob stopped listening to his inner self. He started to think the path to success was outside of him, and gradually, that inner glow got dimmer and dimmer. In time, he completely lost touch with it. As he achieved success on paper, people around him started to affirm that success. He had money, reputation, a nice home. He'd reached the promised land of society. But even though Jacob ticked all these boxes, he still had this unexplainable, uneasy and restless feeling but he couldn't work out what it was or what it wanted. It was, of course, his inner self. It was shouting at the top of its voice but couldn't be heard, trying to get through to him but he was not listening. Although he'd achieved a lot, he'd bought into the success conspiracy and left his true self behind. He was listless and depressed. He sat on a bench with a heavy heart. An old man was sitting next to him reading the papers, just like in the movies. I don't get it, he said. I've achieved everything. Money, reputation, popularity, the whole lot. But I don't feel successful, he mumbled. Listening to his dilemma, the old man looked around and interrupted him. Don't worry, it's not too late. Jacob looked at him in confusion. Too late for what, he blurted. The old man continued, it's never too late to be the real you. What's that got to do with anything, Jacob exclaimed. The old man looked at him. Well, maybe the reason you feel crappy is that you've lost connection with your true self, came the reply. Those things you mentioned, they mean nothing. But worry not, you still have much time. Jacob was taken aback. Could he be right? He faintly remembered that glow he used to feel when he was younger. But that's all in the past, said Jacob, now with his head down. It's long disappeared. There's no use searching for it again, he said despondently. But it can never disappear, said the old man as Jacob looked at him. The inner self is your soul. Jacob was stunned. It struck his chord. No matter what your circumstances are, your true self is always available to you. It has no sense of age or time. It's one's own true purpose and true path to success. As for Jacob, he did more things he actually wanted to do and less rubbish that he hated. It wasn't easy, but for the first time in many, many years, he felt a small faint glow within himself. It felt good. It was the glow that never dies.